Hi everyone, I think I'm in video mode today, but I wasn't going to do it, but Timu asked me to do one more reveal with a little bit of a Timu haul, so stay tuned and I'll show you what I have. Okay, I did get a message from Timu asking me if I wanted to be in the influencer program again. And I said, well, sure, because I just need to make a video, have a few items, show the prices, and uh, post it with the links. So if you don't know how that works, it's a pretty good deal. You can build your way up through the program, depending on how many clicks you get or how many purchases you get from, you know, the items you show. And that's a great deal, but I really, uh, I hadn't made it that far, but as I'm still at the bottom level and uh, you're able to get free product. Now, I ordered $29.93 worth of free product and, um, 30 is the limit, but hey, that's $30 worth of free product and just making a video. So here we go, Timu. I hope you don't mind that I just kind of explained that, but you might get more influencers that way. Anyway, what I did is I thought, well, I was behind on Christmas items because I didn't have a lot of um, moles for Christmas. So I really didn't do a lot, but I went ahead and I ordered these three different sized snowflakes. Well, lo and behold, I already have these, but I ordered them again. So next year I have more. And this three mold set came to $2.99. So I thought, well, that was a good bargain, $2.99. Then I got this little reindeer and he's really cute. I've seen other artists use him and I don't know if you can see a little face, but I thought he was pretty sweet. So I ordered him and he was another $2.99. He's about, oh, three inches tall maybe and a little chubby face. And I thought he'd be real cute. We'll be working on these next year. And then I've got these moles. Now these were $5.49, but you get eight, eight in the set. And they're just blank ornaments, blank ornaments. So you can decorate however your heart desires and I thought well those would be fun because I didn't have any so did I tell you I ordered those $5.49 for the ornaments and then you know I'm a cat lover I came across this mold it's a soap mold but it's a chubby fat cat and I don't know if you can see inside here but he's pretty chubby big cheeks and he's got a smiling at a goldfish down here so I thought, well, he's a deep mold, but that would be fun to do. And uh, we'll do that later on this year. Make that little cat mold with resin. And he was $4.99. And, you know, I was in a hurry. I just started picking, picking, picking. Now, I have a, I have a special um, love for penguins. My son was in Antarctica. And... Uh, he has pictures of him feeding the penguins and the penguins bringing him rocks. So this mold has five different sized penguins. And I thought, well, that'll be nice for a winter scene or a Christmas scene or heck, I think they'd be cute little brooches myself, the bigger ones. So the penguins, they came to $1.99 for these. And I thought, well, that's, that's a good price. And then lately I've been on Instagram and I'm, I've been really fascinated by crowns. Now, I don't know why, but I've watched some artists do some beautiful tiaras and crowns, and I don't know, maybe I want to be a queen one day. Who knows? So I ordered two moles, and they're chocolate moles, but uh, they're crowns. Now, I'm not sure how this one works. There's two little stands, apparently, or backings for them. I don't know, but this is a cute little mold, and it is probably, I want to say, five inches what is it this is oh five inches across inches across and I thought oh 
you could do beadwork in these, you know, and then bend them a little bit, and they'd be really pretty hair breadths, I think. So then I got carried away. This was, um, oh, what was this one? I'm looking at the paperwork here. Two forty nine. It's called a 3D crown chocolate mold. Then I went nuts. Okay. Then I saw this one. <laughs> now this was $8.99 and this bugger is, oh, it's got to be a foot long. My ruler is was not in reach, my big ruler. But I thought, oh, look at that. Look at the detail in that. I'm thinking, I don't know. You could probably go a quarter of an inch deep, but I wouldn't want to go that deep, I don't think. But you can make a beautiful crown for a little girl, whether it be resin and, you know, bend it when it's pliable before it sets up. But I just thought that was gorgeous for some reason. And then I thought, what about hot glue? I know I've seen people use hot glue in molds. So my hot glue gun is going, rather than doing this one, which was, what did I say, $8.99. I'm going to try real quick, put a little glue in here, and let's just see what happens. Got my glue gun ready, my Ad Tech glue gun, and I'm just going to see what happens if we put some hot glue in this mold. And I don't think it'll bugger it. But what I am thinking is probably before you do the glue or the resin, You'd go ahead and embed your beads or pearls or whatever it is you want to put in there. And I think we can probably paint hot glue. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to fill this up and see what, what becomes of it. Let me get into all the corners though. I don't want to burn my mold. But let's just try to fill it in over here. I'm curious. I'm always curious. How are things made? Do you ever watch that show, How Are Things Made? I love that show. Maybe it's because I did factory work for so long, but um, yeah, now let's just, you know, it's settling itself down. I don't know if you could get a real flat backside of, you know, with the glue, but we'll, we'll see what happens. I don't see bubbles. But this was a big glue stick, and I think we're going to go all the way through with this one. Missed a spot there. Missed a little edge in there. But let's see what happens. Maybe we can do something with these. Get in there. Okay. Now I see bubbles in the glue. fill it up. I was going to do just a piece of it, but I thought, well, what the heck, we might as well do the whole thing, eh? It shouldn't take too long to cool off. Or, actually, we could use, oh, polymer clay would work now, too, wouldn't it? Yes, or, or air dry clay. I think there's a different things you could possibly do with this. I thought it'd make a pretty hair brat. I want to look down the side here and see if I got it all filled up. Let me go around the edge one more time. I need some in there. But yes, air dry clay. You could use that for anything. All right, I think I've got most of it. Maybe right up there. All right, back here. Let's see what happens. I wonder if you can smooth that off with a pop stick. Probably not. It's probably too late to even try to do that, but well, I don't know. No, I think we just leave it alone. Let it, let it do its thing. All right, I'll be back in a second when that is cooled down. See what we have. Yeah. 
still miss this edge right here. It's too late to too late to pull it over. Let's go right back in there. Okay. All right. Now I'm really curious to see what we have. We'll come back. Oh, where's my button? I can't see. Okay, I think we're ready to demold. There's a few bumpy spots back here because I picked at it. And uh, other than that, it's pretty flat. I guess you could remelt that with the heat gun and bring those areas down a little bit. But let's see what we have. Ooh, sounds like a sounds like a resin demold. Here we go. Ooh, well that's pretty detailed. I don't know if you can see very well. I we'll have a hole there. But, uh, oh, there's some little arches here. Bubble areas, I guess that's, oh, I missed an edge here. But I guess that's where you could put some beads in. Well, it wouldn't be a crown for a little girl. It's too small, but I bet you could make a cool hair brett if you decorated it with maybe, um, oh, where's my word? Rhinestones? Things like that. That's kind of cool. Let's try something else real fast since I have some right here. What happens if you, I got my green mica powder sitting here. What happens if we put a little mica powder on it? Let's just... Why not experiment a little bit? I know it's hard to see because it's clear. What, what happens? Ooh. Maybe we're on to something. Look at that. Well, I like it. Let me think about this a little more and we'll try do something with these crowns. I think that'll be pretty fun. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. My little short Timu haul. Take good care. Until next time, I'll see you later. Sending hugs. Bye. Mm -hmm.